on South China Sea. So uh, yesterday, uh, several times, you referenced the international law. Yep. And uh, I just wonder, within it, uh, is a term excessive claims defined? Yeah. So the United States was among the nations that participated in the UN Conference on the Law of the Sea. Uh, which took place uh, from 1973 to 1982 and resulted in the international treaty known as the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. Um, the, this, while the United States recognizes the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, I will note we haven't ratified it, the definition is actually in there. Yeah, okay. so I just, I'm always wondering, under which specific international law authorized the U.S. to use warship to patrol in the sea? Okay, so this is freedom of navigation, and we've spoken about this before. If John Kirby was up here, he would use the famous phrase that I told him I would use yesterday, which is, you know, freedom of navigation is not just for whales and icebergs. You know, the United States will continue to exercise that in accordance with international law. Yeah, but how do you... I can't speak to penguins, Matt. Really? So how do you call... Uh, correlated, I mean, with the uh, the, in, the use of warship to patrol in the sea to the innocent passage. So this is freedom of navigation. This is allowed under this international convention. So, so thank you. Well, and yeah, remains is that the United States is not a party to this treaty. That's it's true. Not, it, we it's, do recognize that, though. But well, yeah, but you also recognize, you know, lots of things. You can, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you, that doesn't give you. I mean, you don't have any standing to bring or make a determination um, that, that means anything on, 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 on the, the, the definitions or what is prohibited inside that treaty unless you're a party to it. So we believe... It's like you telling, trying to tell the International Criminal Court what it, who it can or cannot prosecute. You just, you, you, I mean, you can say all you want to, but it doesn't mean anything. So we believe and we've said this before, that our freedom of navigation operations, you know, that challenge maritime claims um, that are inconsistent with the law of the sea, um, ours are conducted in accordance with international law and applied even-handedly. I, I, I don't think anyone's disputing that. No. I'm just trying to make, wanting to make, make the point is, I mean, where do you, how is it that you think that you have standing to make a determination that someone's maritime claim is excessive we believe under the definitions provided by in a treaty to which you're not a party. So we believe that our freedom of navigation operations are consistent. Yeah, but that's not what I, I'm talking right. about the excessive claim part, not the freedom of navigation. I mean, yeah. that doesn't that enter into it. What gives the United States the right to make a determination on uh, that, that something is an excessive claim um, using the definition of a, of a treaty uh, that it's not a party to. So because we believe right. that our actions are consistent I, with the international I'm not law. asking you about your actions. I'm asking about your determination that other people's claims are excessive and therefore should not be I'm going to leave it where we were. All right. Nike. Just a quick follow-up. Uh, yesterday you mentioned the 12 nautical miles mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, freedom of navigation. Mm -hmm. um, are you, you can take the question if you want. Uh, are you, uh, is the United States um, identifying the reef as a rock or island? Because so fiery cross reef? Right. Because it is the a reason high asked, tide elevation and entitled to a 12 nautical mile territorial sea under international law as reflected in the Law of the Sea Convention. So our ship transited inside the 12 nautical miles of the future in a professional manner, exercising the right of innocent passage consistent with international law. So that elevation, is that entitled to the territorial sea or not? It is, it is a high tide elevation and is entitled. And we went through an innocent passage. Okay.